All right, what's going on YouTube? I accidentally posted the video week nine today, which is Monday the 20th. I actually meant to post that video on Saturday, or actually Friday, but um, I was heading out and I left my laptop like uploading it. For some reason, my laptop died and it didn't upload in time. So week nine will be this week too, and then I'll do a week 10, obviously this week too. Uh, maybe I'll upload this video later in the week, or even maybe today, so back-to-back -back videos. Anyways, I'm gonna try to hit chest today, and actually do some flat, flat bench for the first time in a while. I'll see how that feels, I gotta warm up real good, and then I'm gonna try to do a good chest workout, and, uh, Throw some triceps in there, so chest and tries. Let's hit that. So let's get to it. All right, so we're back to benching. Fuck. Still gonna use my elbow sleeves here, just because uh, you know don't want to fuck anything up on my left side here. So I'll do three sets of eight for. The actual workout, I did a couple warm-up sets. That'll be uh, it for, for flat bench, and then we'll do another chest exercise after. So, hit some chest, chest press with the cable machine. Yeah, so I'll probably just start off like going high, mid, and lower. Uh, yeah, let's just start right here. set here for the for this workout. some tries so pretty much just did two workouts for chest now I'm gonna do triceps so I'll probably do like four sets of something so probably start with uh, tricep pushdowns and then end up with like something more isolated like rope or single rope pushdowns uh, so let's get to it all right so little tricep tip here. Eric Spoto, you know, one of the guys that American huge bench press record holder. Uh, 
dude's arms are fucking insane, right? Well, his, his bench is also pretty crazy. I personally believe in order to have a crazy bench, you have to have strong arms. A lot of people think it's all chest, you know? If you look at guys like Eric Spoto, John Hag, Julius Maddox, they all have big fucking arms. John Hack, I've seen him at the gym. The dude's arms are fucking probably like 18, 19 inches. You know, the dude's only like, what, like 5'8", maybe, 5'9"? Fucking jacked to the bone. Julius Maddox has like 20 plus inch arms. Eric Sporto has 20 plus inch arms. The Russian Kirigali, whatever guy, when he hit the 700 pound bench club, he, his fucking arms are insane, you know? And a lot of those guys, like Eric Spoto and that Kirig Ali guy from Russia, they're like getting into arm wrestling a little bit now, or they were, at least Eric Spoto was a couple, maybe a year or two ago. I'm not sure if he's still active on it. Eric Spoto's favorite tricep workout was grabbing one of these bars, you know, for that pull down and going wide where the angles are. And that was his push down. If you try these, even with that other cam really cambered bar that's really more angled, it creates like a forced back, kind of like a wrist wrench when, you know, kind of when it opens you up, it creates the same thing, but with the, with the tricep. So next time you guys are at the gym, try that. You know, everybody always uses a straight bar and the push down, but once you go wide, the bar kind of wants to like roll back on you. So you really have to focus on the triceps. That's a little light, so we'll add more weight, but again, it like wants to like open you up. It feels weird, but it feels really good. It really hits that tricep. Whatever fucking head it is, don't matter. You're gonna hit your triceps regardless, so. All right, let's see. Alright, next one's pretty much just the basic, you know, grab a V-shaped friggin' push down handle here and just go ape shit. I'm only gonna do two sets of just kind of just burning it out on these, you know. Second set, which is the last of this. I'm just doing two sets.
To be honest, there's a lot of tricep exercises you can do, which will grow your triceps. You got the rope, push downs, overhead rope, skull crushers, dips, hammer, or machine like dips, you know. Triceps, there's just so many tricep workouts, you know. You can do like seated, uh, you know, where you grab a bench and you just press kind of like a dip, you know, keep your feet up somewhere, you know, get yourself a little bit elevated, and then a million tricep workouts, right? So I personally don't see why you shouldn't get out of the rope, straight bar, the, you know, V bar one, or the V handle, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Those are all like your main ones. You could do a million tricep exercises. They're all going to hit. Just like Lee Priest says, you know, you can't really hit one that is going to focus on your outer. Just like you can't squat a certain way and it's going to hit just the outer quad. You're going to hit both heads regardless. Yeah, some might trigger or you might feel it trigger a little bit more on one side than the other, you know, your outer or inner head. Dude, you can't just push with one one head. So get that in your head, you know. But these ropes, you know, everybody does these. Every bodybuilder, doesn't matter who it is. These will really isolate the triceps. So do two to three sets of these as a finisher set. Just keep getting that pump. Really isolate the triceps. You see what I'm saying? I feel it all over the place. Like, I feel more of the pump on this head than the inner, but if I flex a certain way, then I'll really hit the inner. So. All right, seriously, every time I start the video, furnace starts. So, fucking background noise. Last set, we got 90 pounds on. It, it feels like 90 pounds, you know. So, just do as many reps as we can right here. Last set. Alright YouTube, so that was that for chest and tries. I did take a little bit of pre-workout again. It's that shit up with stem free. It's got the main ingredient, L-citrulline. I actually did buy another little container of just L-citrulline that I've been kind of taking like every other day, like in the mornings. Supposedly it's, there's like a little bit of data on how it's supposed to help you reduce uh, your blood pressure so if you got high blood pressure maybe this is good for you again it's just a recommendation of what i heard online for anybody that's you know if they want to buy a supplement to help lower their bp also beetroot extract will do that so and a little bit of magnesium so again this is all just based on what i think you know is good for me and i think it's working so you know it might work for you or somebody else uh i try to do this workout short Pretty much back to back so I can keep that pump you know like I'm still fucking pumped right now like pretty crazy uh, so that pre-workout stim free uh, I only do like half a scoop and I get really good uh, pumps but I don't take it every time I only take it like when I want to do volume you know like 
like right now, I wanted to just do volume and hit those reps. Didn't really get a good chest pump, but I only did two workouts for that, you know, and I didn't do that many sets. So, but triceps, yeah, definitely like killer freaking pump. Uh, so, again, uh, the last video I posted, which is today, freaking, what, was, what is it, today, the 20th, Monday? I was supposed to upload that Saturday or Friday. It didn't upload. And I was actually driving away for like, like an hour drive going down to my parents. So uh, usually it uploads. Oh, usually I leave the charger on my laptop and it uploads the video so it doesn't like pause or anything or go into like standby mode. Fucking didn't upload. So then I got to my parents and I'm like, oh, fuck, I was checking my phone to do some final edits. It didn't upload. Uh, so. I actually might just post one. I might post this video today, actually. And so it's pretty much two videos in one day. You know, who gives a shit? Uh, week 10, today. Tomorrow will be my next 100 milli milligram shot. Again, stick, stay, stay to that 200 for a while. Maybe do fucking week nine now or week 10, actually. So week 10. So I'm gonna keep sticking with that test for a little bit longer. And after that, you know, after we keep seeing good results, just stick with it. Uh, I think I did say I was gonna donate some blood. I gotta fucking get that shit scheduled here. So, still crazy pump, man. This shit fucking, you know, I need to take three scoops, you know, just microdose that shit, you know. It's also like a lot of it's in your head too. You gotta do the right amount of weight right amount of reps to get a good pump. You can't just rep out five sets of 50 pounds and expect to get a pump. You gotta like push like the muscles on that certain, you know, range of weight where you're like, all right, you gotta go a little bit harder every time. That's how you get a pump, you know. You're gonna fatigue your muscles a little bit, but you know, all the blood flow's gonna go there, so. Hopefully you guys like these videos and uh, you know, yeah, that's it, that's all I got.